Hello guys, uh, welcome to another Python tutorial. In last week tutorial, we saw how to import structured data into Python. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to see like how to import non-structured data into Python. Non-structured uh, non data in the sense like image files and all those like. So in order to do that, uh, you need to have a library called SK image, you, scikit image. So you could download the uh, scikit image library from here. So I'm I'm using a Python 2.7 uh, 32-bit editions. I mean 32-bit version. So you download the wheel file and then go to your command prompt cmd pip and go to the location of your installation. Cd. I've installed it in my it's in my download. So I'll copy the location and then paste it. So it goes to that location and then type pip install um, the file name so you go ahead and type the file name uh, copy paste it so I already installed this one so it's gonna tell me like requirement already satisfied and apart from this uh, you need another library called matplotlib so you go ahead and type pip install matplotlib I already have this library, it should tell me like requirement already satisfied. So once you have these two libraries, you are ready to go. Uh, in order to do a uh, unstructured data processing, uh, we'll be using this image from the internet. I'll put link to this image in the description below. And also I'll put the description to download this package, the link below. Uh, now let's get right into the code. So from sk image dot io, uh, you are going to import i am im, i am i am read. Then from sk image dot transform import resize from matplotlib import pyplot as whatever name you want uh, import uh, matplotlib dot CM as you can choose whatever you need to want. I'm going to CM. So save this all and execute it just to ensure that you didn't type anything wrong. And no typos. So if you see this one, so it's all you have imported them all perfectly, and then you are ready to type the next set of code. So let's declare a variable that holds the location of the image. So I call it like uh, eg image equals go for a double quote and then copy the image location paste over there uh, now you declare the image so eg image is just a a string that holds the location of the image. So the declare image IMG you can call it anything you want. So you use this imread function and pass um, example this uh, eg image and the image location as an argument and then you convert that into grade g r e a equals uh, true um, and after that uh, you're gonna plot the image using matplotlib dot i am show you call the i am show function uh, the image so this this thing is actually an image now we are writing it writing a script to show the image uh, cmap uh, 
equals cm dot gray cm ap i think it's color mapping if i'm not wrong mm, yeah let's go ahead and show the image uh, plot plt dot show so when i execute this so it should load the image from the internet onto the python script and it has to show me the image control s f i okay we got an error e g i m g so it has to be e g i m a g i am missing an e over there save and execute uh, you got another there's a no module name G R A Y C F I. Yeah, here we go. We got the image. So we successfully loaded our image into the Python. So in ah, uh, in, uh, in the next step, what we're gonna do is like we're gonna describe. I mean, uh, the characteristics of the image, like uh, uh the type of the image and then the shape of the image so let's uh, write the code for that one so for now we could just uh, comment these two we don't want to see the image so we just want to know like uh, how the image I mean the feature the physical characteristics of the image so uh, data type it's gonna take a string percent s mm, comma shape percent s then type IMG, comma IMG dot shape. So this thing should describe the physical characteristics of the image. So I save this one and execute this. Uh, STR is not. Okay, why should we make it this complex? So, get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Okay, unsupported operand type. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Type IMG. Okay, let's see whether we can at least print the shape. Save FI. So it's printed the shape of the image, the pixel size. So it's 90 in width and 90 in height. Uh, close this one. Type image IMG. Save and execute. So it belongs to this type. So why can't we print them together? Uh, 
str img dot shape save a file if you get an error I just don't care so we print that in two lines control x save f5 so the first thing is the type it belongs to this type even though it's a jpeg a png as an image format the data inside is like uh, numpy nd array and then the image size is like 90 cross 90 next we try to like uh, crop the image uh, from 90 cross 90 we try to reduce the image to like uh, uh, just take the portion from 50 I'll just share. let's get rid of or maybe we just come in this too. Come the art. Uh, you define another image img2. Uh, I take the image, the existing image, and then uh, I take the portion that you like want to crop. So from 58 pixel to 78 pixel, that's what it means in the vertical direction and in, in terms of uh, width, we're going to take from 0th pixel to 70th pixel. So now this is actually an image, so you could use uh, this method to show the image, so we get rid of the camera and then change the image name. So color mapping equals cm dot ray uh, plot show. To save the script and then F5 to execute. Mm. I'll also print the actual image. So we can see both. Okay. I should have closed the previous one. Close the program. Same. Execute. The first one will be the cropped image, so you see how it looks. So from uh, you are defining the size from like uh, fifth pixel, you could see this height to seventieth, and then from zero pixel to seventieth. But you actually have till ninetieth pixel. Let's say uh, that's what uh, this is what I'm talking about. You could see this thing has been cropped like this. That's how we did the cropping. Uh, let's let's go give some like crazy value so that you could see an obvious difference. You save this and execute. Now you could see an obvious difference from the cropping, so you could actually see nothing. I mean, it's all blurry because it just taken the picture from fifth pixel till twentieth pixel on the y-axis and uh, zeroth pixel to twentieth pixel on the x-axis. So that's how it looks. Uh, that's why it looks like this. Uh, and in next tutorial, uh, we could learn like few more on this uh, same image processing. Uh, if you guys have any doubts, comment below. If not, like the video and subscribe it. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Uh, bye for now.